Okay, so I have a glass tube here that I've filled up with this red liquid. Um, what I want to do is, I've noticed that some things expand when they get hot. So when I take my coffee here, and I put it next to the big reservoir here, this thing expands and starts to push liquid up into this tube. So then when I move it away, uh, it slowly comes down. But then if I bring this over closer, and so now it's getting colder and colder and colder. So now I've got to, this a way to measure kind of relative temperatures. It'd be nice for me to figure some of this out. I'm gonna put this back over here and then what's gonna happen is this is gonna go back to room temperature. So I need kind of two points for me to put on there. We call those fiduciary points. You'll never really need to know that later. So let's do uh, something that's really, really nice. Um, Let's say, uh, let's put uh, some ice water, so some frozen where water freezes. So this thing right, starts to cool off and then it sits right about there. So I'm going to take my little, I'll put a little mark here. Right, and then this is where water freezes. All right. And then uh, move this away and I have my boiling hot coffee over here. This is... Uh, I'm going to put right next to it, and then as the heat slowly comes in and warms this thing up, I'm going to put it down, put another little mark, and right? I'm going to call this water boiling. All right, so now I've got two pieces that are there, uh, and now I can mark this off in as many different ways that I want. And call this whatever I want. I can call this, uh, if I'm Oli Romer, uh, I'm gonna call this uh, 7.5 and I'm gonna call this 60. Uh, if I'm uh, Gabe Fahrenheit, right, so this is Romer, this is degrees Romer, this is Gabe Fahrenheit, I'm gonna call this 32 and I'm gonna call this 212. If I'm Anders Celsius, or Celsius, as it's uh, he originally, it's the Swedish pronunciation, he called this down here 100 and called this one up here zero. So these are degrees, because you, you you're just putting little marks across here. And those marks can be as big as you, you want to be. Anders Celsius said zero to 100, and he made zero water boiling and 100 water freezing and said there needs to be 100 pieces in between there. And everybody said, Anders, that doesn't make any sense. And uh, he said, it's my scale, I can do whatever I want. So he actually called it the centigrade system. Centigrade meaning 100 divisions that are in there. And so then after he passes away, uh, Carl Linnaeus, Linnaeus, I think there's an A in there somewhere, uh, yeah, of um, biology fame, uh, said, let's flip those around, because that just makes more sense. So then, then he's the one who named this after uh, the Celsius scale. He named it, he's now, he's the one who called it that. So in the United States, we're stuck with this Fahrenheit system, so how do I move from Fahrenheit to Celsius? So you can see that there are, oh gosh, there are 100 steps in the Celsius system. There are whatever, 12, I should have done this before. That's zero, that's 80. So there's 180 steps from there to there. So one Celsius degree is 180 one hundredths Fahrenheit's degree, right? Because 100. Celsius is 180 Fahrenheit, so this then turns into nine fifths. However, they don't start at the same spot. So a Fahrenheit, if you're going to go from degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, you have to subtract 32, so that kind of resets your systems, and then you're gonna take this times nine fifths, I'm sorry, five ninths, five ninths, and then that's gonna give you Celsius degrees. So let's do a quick example. If it's 
So your body temperature, body temperature is somewhere up here around 98, uh, 98.6 degrees. 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit is what in Celsius? So my Celsius degree is going to be my Fahrenheit degree, 98.6 minus 32 times 5 ninths. Then that turns into, you do a little bit of math, and that turns into 37 degrees Celsius.